What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day. I just got out of the shower, like I just manscaped and everything, like sorted all my body out and stuff, you know, like the little things like cleaning up the beard, you know, the one that I can't grow. And I'm just having a meal now of, of course, chicken and rice. And then when I've done that, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna get an early session in today because I feel like I work out too late sometimes and because it's getting like close to body power. I really need to get some sleep because I know like I'll be on my toes all day, like constantly like speaking to people and just like just on the go all day and it's gonna be a long day, it's gonna be a long weekend and especially like working out quite late at night, it's better like at the gyms that people go to, I'm gonna need sleep and I'm, I'm not gonna be able to function on like what I've been having like two hours sleep a night. So I'm gonna work out earlier today, I've got shoulders and biceps. I usually do shoulders and triceps but I'm gonna change them today so I'm gonna go shoulders and biceps and traps as well because I like always do my traps with my shoulders. I used to do traps with back as well like because I used to feel like my traps were like a serious lagging part so I did them twice a week or like three times a week. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and get ready for the gym. I've been speaking to a few people that are going to Body Power on Saturday and Sunday. I wish I could go Friday but I can't get it off work like it sucks because it comes around once a year. I know there's other expos like FIBO and stuff that are quite close to like where I'm from but it's just like hard to kind of get to and like Body Power it's just like I feel like it's not one of the best ones anyway so like it sucks that I can't go Friday, but I will be there Saturday and Sunday. But I've been speaking to a few people that are going, and I feel like the big meetup, like, after Body Power, is going to be Emporium. Now, Emporium's an amazing gym. Like, it's the, it's the gym with a big spray paint art piece of Kai Green and, like, all the other bodybuilders, and the equipment is just crazy. So, Emporium just, like, stands out above the rest, I feel like, because it's, like, got that vibe where you just go and you know you're going to kill the workout and everyone's happy there, like, it's, it's it's got amazing equipment, but, like, not only that, they let you record, so I feel like that's why the meetup's there kind of thing, because a lot of gyms complain about recording, like, big commercial gyms, but Emporium's just sick. When I started my prep, I made one of the biggest mistakes possible, and that was forcing myself to eat bland chicken. Like, some of you guys were commenting, like, why is your chicken so bland? And at check-ins last week, Lee was like, bro, like I watch your videos, like why, why are you having your chicken like with nothing on it? I was like, are you serious? Like, are you actually serious? And I was like, I thought sodium was bad for you because it like it holds water and stuff. He's like, no, like sodium's your friend. Like you cut them things out like last minute. And I couldn't believe it. Like I hate bland chicken, but now I use this jerk seasoning. It's like a pretty nice all round spice. And you can put it on pretty much anything, like fish or chicken or whatever. Pretty much anything, to be honest. So if you're looking for a spice, it's kind of like all round and you don't really know. Jerk seasoning is definitely like, an easy go-to. I put way too much Frank's red hot sauce on that. My mouth is on fire. You baby. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Just because I haven't got fucking rhino skin for a mouth. It's such a nice day today. Like, there's no clouds in the sky whatsoever. Like, it's so warm and blue. Like, I swear it like, said 25 degrees in my mom's car earlier. But what I wanted to say is, my parents have just gone out to a restaurant called The Hungry Horse. And it's just like, it's, it's like this really nice, well, not like a really nice restaurant. They just serve like really good chicken and like onion rings and breaded barbecue chicken and all that kind of thing. Like, and wings and, ah, oh, it's just so good. But like, I just had a pot of chicken and rice and I'm not allowed to eat that sort of thing. But it's going to be worth it in the end because at the end of the day, like when you step on stage and you come at like the leanest that you've ever been, and you have definitely, you know in your mind that you've brought the best package possible. I feel like that feeling will be so much worth it, like more worth it than going and just having like some chicken and like wings and stuff. But I hope, I hope anyway. <laughs> Spinning around. Right, before I go to the gym, I just want to talk about something real quick. I'm just editing like the video that you would have watched before this. I'll call it like physique update vacuum post. So I tried to do a vacuum post, but it was such a fail. Like it took me so many times to get this right. But like I've never done a vacuum post before. Like this is my attempt, but I'll probably call it something to do with that. But I just want to talk about how much footage is actually in this video before I condense it into like eight, 10 minutes. It's an hour. Now I feel like YouTube, so Sometimes presents like this perfect lifestyle of someone that's like always motivated and always does everything perfect and like YouTube's not the that's that's not the case like a youtuber does as many things wrong as you do like don't pressure yourself like someone said like at the gym the other day like how do you do everything perfect like how do you stick on your diet how do you stay motivated how do you get up in the morning and prep all your food like before work at five in the morning like how do you do that and I'm just like because I know what I want in life like I know what I want and like it's this guy was like, I can't do that. Like you, you seem like you do all these things perfectly and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? YouTube is highlights. I do so much wrong and any of the YouTuber will know what I'm saying right now. They do so much wrong and YouTube just presents like the things that you do right. You would be surprised how many things we do wrong. So don't pressure yourself. If you if you mess up, that's okay. If you, well, it's not okay. Just don't beat yourself up about it. Like if you miss a meal, then just like make sure you don't do it next time. Like I feel like, don't watch a YouTuber and try and copy them because they are doing things wrong too. Like, just don't pressure you.